I'm here to take you on a movement exploration. We're going to be exploring shape, space, time, and force. First of all, make sure you have room to move. Move aside furniture or go on outside. Let's start with shape. A straight shape. Try it with me. Curved shape. An angular shape. What else could you do? Let's try some letters. T. X. P. K. PK. My initials. Can you make your initials with your body? Now, let's try again. I'm going to pick up my sticks, and every time you hear a beat, change your shape. Are you ready? Change. 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 Let's go on to space now. Stretch up into the high space. What can you do in high space? Take a jump. And now we'll melt down into the low space. And what can you do in low space? Let's go on now to time. And how slow can you go? Slow motion moving. Now, gradually, let's speed up till we're moving quickly. What can you do that's quick? And our last element, force. We have smooth movement, movement that has no beginning and no end. And we have sharp movement. Movement with a abrupt beginning and end. Kind of like a robot. Let's try again. I'm going to pick up my sticks. And let's see if you can do eight of each. High, low, quick, slow, smooth, and sharp. Are you ready? Start in high shape and go high. Low. Quick. Slow. Smooth. using the elements with friends or family. Now I want you to know that these elements and movement are in everything that we do and in everything animals do also. Let's try combining a couple. How about high and smooth? Try moving high and smooth. And as you do, think of an animal that moves high and smooth. Can you be that animal? What other activities do you do that are high and smooth? Act it out. Let's try low and slow down. Can you think of an animal that moves low and slow? Can you be that animal? And lastly, what's left? Quick and sharp. Lots of animals move quick and sharp. Lots of sports are quick and sharp. Let's see if you can act one out. 
or be an animal. Now, let's use everything we've learned about the elements, shape, space, time, and force, to try some pantomime. Pantomime just means you are acting without any sound. So, let's give it a try using our senses. Starting with sight, think of what you would look like if you were watching a funny movie. How about you're watching a firework go from the ground, rise into the sky and explode? And let's try using just our face to pretend like we're listening to our favorite music. We hear a sudden clap of thunder. Smell. We're smelling popcorn. A skunk. Taste. You're tasting your favorite cookie. A sour lemon. And touch. You're touching a soft kitten. A hot stove. Let's try using our whole body as well as our face now to act out this story. Come on with me. We're going on an adventure. Take off across the meadow. It's a beautiful day. Show how you feel with your face and body. Soon you come to a rushing stream. The only way to cross is on a fallen log. Be careful. How do you feel? And once on the other side, we come to a swamp. It's sticky, gooey mud. You have to lift one foot at a time slowly to get through. And now we come to a forest. It's deep and dark and a little bit scary. So dense that we have to push the bushes aside to get through. But there you see it, a cave. Show how you feel. Are you curious, excited, frightened? You decide to go in, but first you have to push aside the cobwebs. How does that feel? Once inside, the cave gets smaller. You have to squat down and feel your way along the walls. And there, you see it, a treasure chest. Go to it. You can't open it. How do you feel? It suddenly bursts open. Now how do you feel? And what was your treasure? You can write about it or tell a friend or family member. And if you enjoy pantomime, try it out with any of your favorite stories or poems. Have fun exploring.